Hey guys, it's been a while. I know, but there's a very good reason for that. It's because over the last few months, I was busy taking a course on the history of anime. Yes, a legit course on the history of anime, not just any online course off of YouTube. This shit was legit. I had to pay for it myself and not only pay, we, we were given tests after every single unit. You know the shit is legit when they are like, yeah, we'll test you on the knowledge and the shit we've taught you. I had never been a good student in my college or in my school. So I thought I should probably bring someone who is much smarter, much more well-read and well-versed in anime. So I zeroed on to one person. Alright, Meta's calling me. Okay, let's take a look at this. Oh, hey, Joe. So, how you doing, man? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> so, hey, I found this really interesting thing on Instagram. It is okay. an anime course. And it's like a paid okay. course on anime. And I was like, huh. I thought like oh, I just yeah. like, yeah, I should like tell tell this to you because uh i had this really interesting idea of like that we can collab with it and like go through this course okay sure yeah i thought i should get your opinion as like you're an academic so i can get an idea of the stuff hey hey joe buddy what's happening huh bro trying to call me an academic and i believe this uh, oh, 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 all right, all right. You, you, uh, I'll, I'll not call you an academic. Uh, yeah, I forgot that. Okay. Yeah, sorry, my bad. So, hey, either way, uh, would you still be interested? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Oh, great. Now, the video you're about to watch is just the part one of the first unit. Yes, this is just the first unit's part one. And there are five units with multiple parts. So if you want to know when the next part will be dropping and if you want to know when the next part comes out, hit that subscribe button and also click on the bell thingy right there. Yeah, to get a notification when the next part is uploaded. And even if that's not enough and you want a sneak peek of the next part, I sometimes edit my videos on twitch.tv forward slash meta hulk, meta hulk with a one instead of an L because I never take any L's. And if you're like, damn, this guy's pretty cool, I wanna see more stuff from him. Well, you can go to my Twitter where I make some tweets while I take a poop. And you can also follow Joe for much more interesting stuff. And now I'll not hold you back from the video anymore. Let's just jump straight into the video, shall we? Today we are starting our course on the history of Japanese animation or the history of anime. The world is dominated by America and this domination began in the 30s. Oh, okay. Sorry. Snow, wait, what? Snow White 1993? That's very boop. Yeah, very boop. <laughs> <laughs> like, wait. <laughs> okay, this is, this is wild. There are three Whoa. animation schools. What? American school, European school, and Asian Japanese school. Wait, are there just three, like three big schools? Is that a big three? Like, I don't know what he means by that though. Yeah, like teachings, methodologies, Japanese, Asian animation style, and like the American style. Uh, I, I find it kind of weird that, like for instance, right? Like where does the, um, where does like the Chinese school of animation like come in? He also said like it is Asian, Asian slash Japanese. So I guess it's gone in the Asian. But, oh, okay. It's good to know. <laughs> it's good to know that the Japanese style of animation just can yeah. work for all of Asia. All right. And we know that the audience is keeping the cinema alive because producers and distributors put all their hopes in Disney animation only. Mm -hmm. I really want to stress that his body language is really strange for what he's trying to do. Yeah. He's got like this sort of like left right like swagger going on he feels like uh he feels like a soundcloud rapper who's like doing his first music video 
<laughs> I also just noticed what is spam by and the screen is spam B. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Wait, wait, how, how much are we in? This is two minutes in. He's already used Betty Boop for Snow White, which again, you know, he's used Snow White 1993. Like I just looked at it right now. Okay, on my phone, Snow White 1937. Oh, where did they get 1993 from? <laughs> yeah, this is like, I'm learning so much. Regardless of Disney's influence and the uplift of children and teenage oriented content, the animation was rapidly maturing in Japan. What's curious is that not only the niche animation was evolving, but mass animation too. I don't know why. There appeared I don't know why he's using Momotoro. It's just war propaganda. <laughs> an adult audience. For example, family animation by This Miyazaki is not was animation for Wait. children. Except for it, like it, they just like skipped so much in between. Like but they just went from like propaganda to like Ghibli films. This is Mananoki, I guess it has uh -huh. scenes of violence. Oh. Adults can <laughs> it, it has oh. scenes of Wow, I think it's weird, right? Because like it feels like he's trying to argue that like mm -hmm. animation and Japanese animation used to be like this childlike, fantastical thing, but now it's like mature. It's just like, but then yeah. he uses like Mamotoro to uh, <laughs> as an example of like Japanese yeah. animation back then. But it was just like that was violent war propaganda yeah. with like animals dying. <laughs> Has scenes of violence. It has scenes of violence. Yeah, vi violence, mm. violence. Then there's also adult oriented uh, okay, animation cool. that touches on adult issues like relationships and sex. Characters okay. are also okay. sexualized. The characters in the, those movies are trying to figure out why they are getting old and where they are heading. Ah, uh, yes, my okay. favorite mature anime, High School DxD. I love that his example, right, was just like, okay, it can also talk about shows that talk about adult things like sex and it's like oh, okay and it's like for instance characters are sexual i just like oh depression work life family issues yeah. yes actual adult they're issues sexualized sex yeah like when they're watching like high school dxd there's like this is clearly a show for adults oh, yeah. I mean, it's Too not a show for horny teen boys yeah. it's for adults anime became not only in a separate cinema genre but it replaced a lot he just Japanese called it a cinema genre uh, why? Why? <laughs> Animation is usually called a televisual genre because it yeah. largely emerges from television. <laughs> why cinema? That like it was a cinema kind of thing started starting off. It started off. Be? No, it started off as advertisements for oh. products. After the the Second World War, a lot of the animators that had, had that had been working on like animated films, mm -hmm. right? Um, they moved into like animating commercials, like the old like Pentax commercials were oh. uh, originally by old animators who would then go on to into like anime. But even then, right, the vast majority of animators and the vast majority of anime is not from cinema, it's television. There's a reason why that everybody like charts the beginning of like modern day anime, mm -hmm. whether you agree with it or not, as from 1964. Uh, with uh, Osamu Tezuka yeah. and uh, Astro Boy, right? Yeah. And it's it's not because it's the first animation from Japan, because the first animation from Japan that we know of is the Matsumoto fragment, you know? Yeah. The reason why is because it's the first, like, confluence between, like, chocolate makers and television and, like, uh, these very specific kind of working conditions that, like, all came together in this instance to create, like, this very specific, like, starting point. Like, it has nothing to do with cinema. <laughs> yeah, it, it, and he also called it a genre and not a method of, like, you know, like, the choosing animation over, like... Yeah, it's... Anime shooting. is often called, like, the medium genre. Medium, because, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, because there's, like, specific ways it does things. Um, but it's not, like, tied to any, like, formalistic link, like, like what we usually think when we think about genre. Yeah, so calling it a genre is kind of weird. So there's a little bit of a difficulty, right? Mm -hmm. uh, with that, um, we lost a lot of early uh, animation as a result of the 1923 Great Kanto Quake. Mm -hmm. um, it annihilated a lot of like old early animation. So arguably, um, we don't really know exactly how much uh, cinema anime like remains mm -hmm. uh, uh, or was destroyed. But nevertheless, what we do know is that a lot of it was TV. It's so funny that he uses like Betty Boop, right? The Betty Boop 
image because Betty Boop was hugely influential for early Japanese animation. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> so bad. But I don't know if like if that was on purpose. Like I don't <laughs> I don't. Yeah, if it's because like because it just said Snow White. <laughs> Yeah, no. like if they could have been like, oh yeah, note, uh, Snow White was wrong. We've actually meant to say Betty Boop, and we fixed it in post. Yeah, right. But they had the text Snow White 1993, but they actually put the image of Betty Boop. There is some yeah. kind of either miscommunication or these people are just like confusing stuff. They actually think that Betty yeah. Boop is Snow White, and like 1993 came before 1937. It is art, but at the same time, a lot depends on money. For example, it is too expensive to pay for animators oh, manual yeah. work, so they use a cheaper 3D technique. Hence the poor quality wait. animation that we see in the last oh. 15, 20 years. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Ah. Like the topic was religion and folklore. And why are yeah. we just like- Yes, so we have not yet gotten into anything about religion and our folklore. And we're like a third of the way in. Oh god. Okay, you know they still got ten minutes. Maybe they can try uh, wrap it up pretty nicely. That's They're true. just like just giving us a little bit of introduction. There are pictures with mass appeal, targeting teenagers and kids. Some movies feature character sexualization and awkward scenes. <laughs> what? Why is he so fixated cool. on sexualization? Why? He, he loves talking about sexualization. I don't know why he just keeps going back. He just cannot stop talking about sexualization. Let's recall uh -huh. Cowboy Bebop, Samurai Shampoo. Space Dandy, they seem typical for the mass market, simultaneously- I'm sorry, <laughs> what? Uh, samurai Shampoo? Yeah, yeah, Cowboy Bebop, alright, Samurai Shampoo. Uh, same, okay, the same two Watanabes. Yeah, two Watanabes, <laughs> then Space Dandy, alright. You know what? Fine, great examples. But wait, so he actually did pull out example, but he is not showing any images for comparison of the artistic style or anything. Okay, I think it's a laziness thing, but mm -hmm. it might also be like a copyright thing, you know? If he's selling this course, right? Showing yeah. like But they have like clips. posters, right? Not even yeah. like clips, but they can actually have the image. Oh, oh, sorry, Western sorry. Animation. Oh. Something important? <laughs> okay. I recommend I'm our bored. special video course, History of Cinema. From Lumiere Brothers to Christopher Nolan, uh, where you will dive into the Wait, are they selling cinema. their course within their course? They are. How does it feel, Madhawk, to know that you've paid for advertisements? Yo, <laughs> you know what? Even YouTube doesn't rip you off. If you buy premium, you're like, you don't get ads. Yeah, you don't have to see the ads anymore. Yes. <laughs> what? It had been a very closed country that had next to zero ties with the outer world. Oh, At the Sakoku argument. Oh, sorry, what's the Sakoku argument? Uh, he's talking about Sakoku, the period when uh, Japan was quote-unquote closed off to the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I've heard about that. I didn't know it, was, it had a name. Kind of like a half myth, because like there are a lot of it was closed off, but it still regularly traded with like Portuguese traders. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. So, so they're talking about like before like they had Western influence on their culture. There's kind of an implication in this argument here where he's kind of uh, situating uh, Japan up as, well, one, I find it kind of weird that he's kind of going with the, you know, Japan used to be a closed off society, but then it opened up. But it does have a kind of like noble savage mythology to it, which is very off-putting. Japan wasn't necessarily that closed off. Okay, yeah, they had like <laughs> trades going on with other countries, like Portuguese. They had trades. That's how they got. They, that's how they got the guns, bro. Oh, <laughs> you think the samurai invented guns <laughs> by their own? No, they traded it. <laughs> For a very long time, Japan had been a fragmented shogunate okay. state. Shogun <laughs> is a something like a prince. Shogun had their own forces. Title just says emperor. And permanently. Say what? <laughs> There's just a title that just says emperor. Oh, okay. he doesn't. <laughs> He doesn't even have, like, he doesn't even tell anybody, like, who that is. He's just like, Emperor. Is that, like, the current Emperor? Uh, that's Hirohito. I'm 99% sure that's Hirohito, yeah. Yeah, I can tell Japanese Emperors based on their facial hair. <laughs> the authentic Japan we used to see in history, historic movies faded away along with Samurais. That greatly affected religion, too. Japan seemed odd. Oh, okay, now we're getting into Europeans, it. But it is quite a typical representative of the... Mm, Eastern culture. There are two cultures what? and religions. In Sorry, Japan. what was the, the mm. wait? What, what was the sentence? Mm. I, I was I just like completely blanked out. I was like, you wait. just said it was mm, representative of Eastern culture. 
What was samurais? <laughs> what is? He said that the loss of the samurai was so greatly affected the national Japanese psyche, but he never mentioned how. Yeah, it would be like just as like vague as being all like the loss of the European knight greatly affected European society, <laughs> and it's just like, but how? China is the most ancient civilization in Asia that has affected the neighboring countries politically and culturally. Is the Middle East and India just like not in like Asia? I, like, I, is like Asia like, like China's old, but it's not the oldest. <laughs> yeah, we like India like goes back a lot. Like one of the oldest civilizations is from the Indus River Valley. Yeah, I don't know if I should take offense to just like ignoring my whole country <laughs> by this dude. <laughs> I mm -hmm. think you can make the argument that, like, China is the oldest continuous civilization, right? Yeah, um, but recorded existence. Yeah, well, I think I mean that in the context that, like, China has been, like, the oldest civilization that hasn't, like, broken apart. Because, like, India is older than China, but, like... Oh, yeah, it's fragmented India has gone through, like, periods. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mongolian invasion and stuff like that. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, and then it, turned, it got, like, the Mughals and then... Yeah. Um, and then the Raj, you know, it's gone through like a huge amount of like yeah, transition. Then the Brit then, then we had the Mughals, then we had the Britishers. But the thing is, he never mentions this. He just calls China the oldest civilization. <laughs> Everything that Japan has came from China. All right, gamers. No, that's true. <laughs> now, while being Shinto and Buddhists, the Japanese like getting married canonically as Christians because they consider it a beautiful tradition. Okay, that is a thing. From what I've heard and seen, like people even if they are like follow Shintoism or Buddhism, they prefer the uh, the aesthetic of a Christian marriage. Or say like um, a more mixture of Buddhism and Shintoism is like the current uh, dominant religion in Japan. Well, so most Japanese consider themselves to be a religious or non-religious or like uh, non-practicing. Um, a lot of practices are quasi Shinto, quasi Buddhist. But like <clears throat> if you like go into the streets and then like ask like a Japanese person, like, you know, what religion are you? Mm -hmm. um, most of the times they're going to say that they're not actually religious. Okay. You know, they'll all, they'll go and do like all the things that like mm -hmm. we might strike as like religiosity, you know, like little prayer tablets. They'll go to like Hatsumo. They, they'll, like, they'll do all those things, mm -hmm. right? That we might the temple see as religious. Is, yeah. Yeah. But they won't call themselves religious okay it's um, more of like a tradition thing than religious thing. think of it like social muscle memory cultural than uh, religious per se for example some um closed churches in china have no other function than to be a decoration for weddings oh, yeah. just because it's beautiful and they liked that tradition anyway christians are a hefty percentage but what does this have to do with anime population <laughs> shintoism is a religion based on the belief wait did he say christian is like a huge percentage wait what Anyway, Christians are a hefty percentage of the Japanese population. Wait. What? <laughs> no. Okay. They're not. Okay. Okay. I, I need to see, check this. I'd be surprised if Christian Japanese are like double digits. About 1% of yeah. Japan's population. 1% of Japan's pop. There. Dominate. There, yeah. <laughs> they dominate the country. I would have been very surprised if it was double digit percentage. Like, yeah. no. <laughs> like, these... Oh, man, Shinto. This is gonna take longer than I thought. Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> Shintoism is a There's just so much wrong in here. Yeah. In the forces of nature. Furthermore, every Japanese family needs to have its own kami, which means God in Japanese. His family? Wait. What? Okay. I've never heard that. Also, I love the pi guess, the I pixelation on, on the image they use. I can dude, clearly oh make God, out. Dude. I can clearly make out every detail on it. This man needs to put his images into like waifu, like 4x or <laughs> yeah, something. Yeah, waifu 2x. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Tsukamagami is a man-made powerful creature. Any object older than 100 years can become a Tsukamagami. There's a Karakse. Vakadori. Okay, I don't know why he's talking. I don't know why he's talking about skumogami. So, what skumogami are are they're things that have been rejected or neglected and yeah. have thus developed a life of their own and yes, become like yes, yes, yes. petty little spirits. And they're like not even considered gods. They're like they come fall into the yokai. They're like spirits. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I knew about like yeah the neglect, but okay the skumogami. Mm -hmm. Also, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do this man's. I'm gonna do this man's job for him. If anybody is interested in seeing like an anime, mm -hmm. you know, about Skumogami, uh, Amagi Brilliant Park is Amagi a modern Brilliant day Park. imagination of that. Yes, yeah, yes. that's a 
modern day like examination of skumogami yeah the, all the uh <laughs> like the mascots and like yeah people there oh, yeah the but they're all like part of this abandoned amusement yeah, park yeah. <laughs> that's what you know <laughs> i'm doing this man's job for him <laughs> Yeah, they could be like, oh yeah, you can watch this anime, for example, you know, yeah. you must have seen it here. Yeah, he could have. The famous Japanese gate is one of the signs of this Japanese Buddhist mixture. If you have watched more than three, four anime movies and saw the protagonist prey... Have you seen more than three, four... Uh, Dude, this guy is so... He's, he's weirdly condescending. Yeah, he's like, hey, you know... Have you seen uh, more than three, four... You have probably noticed that religion is still important to the Japanese, but we should keep in mind that it's not like that in Europe. There seems to so, be no such thing. There, you, I think Europe is more into religion than Japan. Okay, aside from the problem with, like, saying Europeans, because mm -hmm. Euro Europe is a very big place. Yeah. Speaking in general, for the sake of the video, right? Mm -hmm. um, more Europeans, on average, would probably consider themselves, like, religious than the Japanese would. I mean, I mean, I think Italy alone, and it's like, <laughs> I think Italy and Spain alone, and it's like Roman Catho like Catholicism would yeah. probably be more than Japan. Uh, density or like percentage. I think Europe has more like yeah. people who con would consider themselves to be religious from like what you've told me. I about. mean, it's baffling that he says this, considering like the rates of like Russian Orthodoxy in like Russia. In the U.S., for example, the Catholic Church gets insulted either by Harry Potter or Madonna, and it often sparks <laughs> protests. Wait, no, it's not, not the Catholic Church. No, those are like religious fundamentalists. Those are like Baptists. Oh. Like, is he talking about the people who are just like, yeah, Harry Potter has magic? Yeah, yeah, yeah. magic <laughs> is the like, devil and stuff like those that. Are, yeah, those are like Southern Baptists. Uh. I, I mean, like, I'm sure the Catholic Church has been critical of Harry Potter, but the mm -hmm. people who are like, you know, really up in arms about the witchcraft. Yeah, uh, like Madonna. Not if you play a Japanese fighting game, you could fight a Buddha. Japanese mass culture is full of <laughs> angels, demons, you or can what fight we call a Buddha. characters, but right. they are not treated with as much reverence. When Western culture made its way into Japan, all the Western evil spirits like zombies, vampires, or aliens fit in religious routines. Aliens? And there is also yokai. Yokai is someone who can change their shape. It's not a werewolf. What? It's someone um, <laughs> who can turn into anyone else. Optimus Some Prime is a yokai. Okay. All right. He just called skin... Yeah, like he just equated yokais with like skinwalkers yeah <laughs> like, or transformers character is portrayed as someone who has already changed mm -hmm. rather than someone who has that ability there are dark mm -hmm. yokais wait okay so someone who has changed or like transformed is a yokai not someone with the ability to transform i i have no idea yokai i thought were like forgotten like evil spirits Yokai are just spirits. It's just a catch-all term not... for, like, spirits. Okay, spirits, not, like, evil per se, but, like... They don't necessarily have to be evil. Okay, so, like, spirits. There's a, there's some really nonsense yokai, right? Mm -hmm. Like, like, uh, shirime, right? Which is, uh, which takes the figure of an old man in the middle of the night. And then if you, like, come across this old man in the middle of the night, he'll be all like, Hey, can you help me? I think I dropped something. And then the moment you, like, r reach down to, like, look at the ground, mm -hmm. and then you, like, you look up, he shows you his asshole, and there's an eye. Oh, in yeah, there. I heard about him. Yeah. He's, he's the asshole yokai, you know? <laughs> he just moons you with an eye in his ass crack, and then he runs away. No, they're not necessarily it's evil, they're yeah. just there. A lot of creatures are called yokai in Japan. For example, ghosts. Even though they are also quite peculiar. Well, technically there's speaking, ghosts are called yure. For... Yeah, yeah, spirits. <laughs> or, spirit. or alternatively, <laughs> ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and, uh, wait, he said he said. Oh, he said it, dude. For spirit, yurei. Oh. We can find this mythological diversity in Japanese anime, both in simple teenage stories and deep Hayao Miyazaki's works. The way in which this okay. supernatural world is so naturally intertwined with daily routines is singular and characteristic of Japanese anime. Uh, well, it, 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 wait, what? Well, it just ends. <laughs> what? It just ends. <laughs> What? That was it? Sorry. Oh, it just ended. No what idea. just happened? This video, like, I, I felt like I learned less. Like, my knowledge, I was, like, more confused to what's going on. 
I don't know what the point of like so much of that video was. It's like it kept bouncing left and right. Like it didn't have like a, any structure, any flow. It, it was just like going from just like topic to topic. Oh yeah, so I was going to walk with my dog and suddenly I saw a cat and I was like, hmm, I would like to buy a cat. Then I went home with some flowers. Yeah, the historical origin of the cat is that for a long time, cats do not interact with humans. Uh, but then the emperor, uh, like, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't. If I was somebody who was like really interested in getting into like learning more about like anime, like none of that helped. This actually felt like I was taking a lecture in college. It actually made me, made me feel like that. I was just like, okay, I don't know what the fuck is going on. I'll just take note from the smart kid and just like, or like the teacher will give us like the notes and just like chuck that down before the exam. It just actually felt like that. You know what worries me is mm -hmm. like when that quiz happens, right? Oh, yes. It's like, like are the right answers the right answers at that point? Hey, you made it till the end. Great. So now, as you know, this was just the part one of unit one. And if you want to know when the next part comes out, Hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to be the first one to know when the next part comes out. And if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. And if you want to see a sneak peek of when the next part is uploaded, because these all the videos have been recorded already, I'll be editing them on twitch.tv forward slash Melahol. Not the whole video, but like sometimes I edit them just for fun and give sneak peek to people about what's happening. And if you want to see more of me and Joe, you can follow me on Metahulk98 on Twitter and Joe on at pause and select. And not only follow Joe, if you want to see much more knowledgeable and thorough analyzed videos on anime and the topics and the cultures surrounding anime. And his videos are absolutely banger. So go subscribe to Joe and I'll see you guys in the next video, which can be anything, you know, next part or just something on anime or shit I like. See ya.